Welcome to Ballam Road Dairy Farming episode 7.1, kind of, Pemberton's Farm. Uh, this is an apology after the stream, and there's a little bit of footage of what I'm doing um, um, with me, Mr. Sealy P. So this is the video version of the episode you may have just watched, possibly in two parts. Um, I decided to go live. I was live streaming because I was just doing mowing. I was doing some tedding, so I thought we'd go live. Uh, if you watch the live stream, thank you very much for joining me. However, uh, I was talking about El Gato, talking about streaming or broadcasting directly from PlayStation. And what happened, I was broadcasting from PlayStation and someone had said in the chat, have you have any problems with um, the game crashing? I said, no game crashes at all. I had a couple of connection drops because um, I'm playing on the multiplayer server. A couple of times I lost connection to the server, but I hadn't had a game crash. 20 minutes later, half an hour later, game crash, bang. Game crashes, pings me back out to the main menu on the PlayStation. The problem is, at that point, you can't then just go back on and continue the stream because the stream's not continuing. At that point, the PlayStation stopped broadcasting. So if you hit broadcast again, it starts a new broadcast, which starts a new live stream. So anyone that was on the original live stream chat was just waiting for me to come back, had no idea that it was starting a new one. Some people moved over, within five minutes it crashed again. So I hadn't experienced any game crashes at all up until that point. So what I thought I would do is come on here, apologise if you're on the stream, if you're on the chat. I was just talking to Gogglepop um, and said I might do more streaming from Pemberton's. Um, just sort of just the general day-to-day -day stuff. I think once we've got the big silage harvest out of the way, uh, I might well do a bit more. It might it'd only be like half an hour or 45 minutes at a time maybe, but just some of the sort of day-to-day -day bits and bobs. Um, it might work, providing I, get, I don't have any more of those crashes, because it's really frustrating. You don't even get to finish off the sort of the video, the episode, in any sort of meaningful way, you know. But I like the interactions. That's what I was saying. I love the interactions with people. So if you didn't watch that, feel free. I mean, I was just mowing, but there was a load of chat going on and stuff like that. I've mowed this field, this pasture here at Pemberton's for them. I have mowed that field there. If we go into this one here, so we are currently here. I've mowed this pasture here. There's a fence line just there. I've mowed all of one, which took ages. I'm just using the side mower, the mower they normally use. Field two is even bigger and field 21. I've got to do those at some point. And this pasture here I'm going to do as well. At least I think I'm going to. I was going to do the top end of this cattle pasture too. Um, but it's going to take ages. So what I've done, those two I've mowed, what I'm going to do now is some tedding. So it's just while I'm doing that, I thought I'd like to say it was just an explanation of what just happened. Apologise to anyone that was in the chat that was watching. If you didn't watch the live stream, obviously you then get this skip of an episode and you're not sure what's happened or what, how all of a sudden you're on a, on a <laughs> on a different episode. Excuse me. So I have got a tedder. It's going to take me a while with this, it's not a very big tether. Actually, I could probably get away with using the small Hurleyman for this. I use this for doing all of the mowing, or up to that point I've done the mowing. So what I'll do, if I drop that, actually not what I'll do, just drop that there. I'll take this back over and attach it to the mower, because the mower's, mowing's going to be carrying on. And I'll carry on using the bigger Hurleyman that they've, they've, well, they haven't got. This was one of their trial ones. They had some trial hours on it. Thought it would make it a little bit more interesting, Evan. This we'll tear out that one and then I'll carry on. I'll get some more mowing done and then it will be silage contracting, silage harvesting. Um, some people were saying in the stream about um, I need to turn the brightness up. It's not, it's not the brightness, it's, it's the actual um, it's the map because the time of year we're into November and I said on the stream the sun only comes up to about there so the sun will come up. It will go across the sky, but it doesn't go any higher than that. Obviously, as it would do in the real world. You know, as you get towards summer, the sun gets much higher in the sky and goes across. So it's not going to get a lot lighter. When you're facing this way with the sun behind you, like any photography, it's a, it's a lot better. But obviously, if you turn towards the sun, being quite low in the sky, all of this it seems a lot darker. That's just the nature of it. I can't do a lot about that. That is what it is. So, um, yeah, so I hope I will try and get some telling done I'll get back on some more mowing I said this one is probably going to be a, a, a shorter episode I have taken on another first uh, uh, silage baling contract on the first field I did the, the, the um, baling contracts on field 17 it's quite a big field I got the um, 
as part of the contract they gave me the Krona Big M 450 which I've used um, it also gave me the Vermeer self-propelled baler so it'll be round bales rather than square bales um, and then so I'll bail those so I'll get the contract money and I think that fill works out about 26 grand when I did that field the first time I had 32 bales left over which was with the grass bales that I bought over here if I've got 32 silage bales left over from that contract, we could make a bit of money on that. Or I could store them, keep hold of them. Oh, that's a point. I've got to go and collect all those bales, haven't I? I've got all those bales left up at my old property. I didn't go and get them. I must do that. So this the same thing again. This is going to take a while. It, it just, you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I want to try and get all of this done and the silage contracting done before we move into November. Realistically, I can. If we go down to the bottom again, grass harvest season is the orange. I can still cut grass right the way through, December, January, February. So I could carry on doing this work. We might get snow, in which case that wouldn't be as good. Um, I can't plant any, but I could cut some. So if I didn't get it all done, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I wanted to try and keep it as close to real as close to normal as possible and bearing in mind as well this is what the guys do this this is the size machinery they've got they've got a, a rear side mower they've got a small tether they did have a least malone one i say a least um malone had sent them one for a while i'm sure it was a tether they had for a little while it was a big old bit of kit and they were talking about whether they should buy one but most of their work is being done using one just like this so let's say some of the fields will be left grass that'll be for the silage couple of fields I'm going to do like this for hay we're going to get a baling contract to come in as well at some point hopefully um, so we'll windrow it and we'll bale it but the silage will be picked up with a forage harvester and then that will go into the silage clamp um, hopefully I don't know how much we'll have we'll see but again because this is one of those jobs that was going to take quite a while I just thought streaming it would be you know it'd be a nicer way to interact with people it's a fairly mundane job just to watch on a video he says while he's doing a video but um while you're streaming there's all the chat going on and there's conversations happening and people are asking questions and now i can i can talk about things and i can talk about questions people have asked me but it's a more immediate you can get that reaction action reaction straight away so if you ask a question you get that response immediately when you stream which i, I do like like I said before, I don't, I, I don't always and can't always keep up with comments. Um, whereas if you're streaming, because the comments are immediate, you can respond immediately. So it kind of works out rather nicely. So I'm going to, yeah, I'll crack on doing this. It was, um, like I say, it was more of an apology. This, but also to, to kind of round off the the two parts of the live stream. The second part was just a disaster. I don't know what happened. It came back on. I was trying to get, um because I was playing on the server I was trying to get the admin login on and it, the game crashed a second time and when you think if I now if I now press broadcast again on the PlayStation that's a third stream it comes up with and it just gets too complicated especially for people that are watching at the time but also people to come on and watch later on it just it's not conducive to, to that so hopefully I mean I, I don't know as far as streaming goes moving forward yeah, I mean, I want to I want to broadcast more. I just don't want that to happen. I don't want that to keep happening. So, some interesting conversations going on. If you haven't watched the stream, I know it's a little bit longer than I say my normal videos can be an hour long, and it was I think I did an hour and twenty minutes on the first one. Um, also, if you're watching this and haven't watched that one, the first fourteen minutes of it there was no mic, <laughs> PlayStation settings. I'm not going to go through that again, but yeah, there was no mic settings, so you can skip ahead fourteen minutes, and it all starts from there. Just so you know. I'm not the only person it happens to, I know, but... It's one of those reasons I, I kind of have shied away from streaming for a while. And why I often shy away from it. Because if it doesn't go right, if it doesn't work, you just get clobbered. If recording like I'm doing now, I, I know this. I know how it works. I know how to do it. It's all perfect. It just... I, say it's all, I think it is, but it just works. But when you're doing streaming like that, if things go wrong... I'm not quick enough on my feet to, to rectify the problem and get it back up and running. I think had I been using Elgato, as far as I'm aware, the stream would continue to run. So even if the PlayStation dropped off, because it's running through the PC, 
and it's running through OBS, that would keep running. I would just have to get the PlayStation back up and it would just continue. Like I say, broadcasting from the PlayStation doesn't quite work that way, so it's just frustrating. Anyway, yeah, there were some great conversations, great chats, all different stuff people were asking me. It's almost like, you know, I suppose it's a QA, and a it's a rolling Q&A session as well, which is quite nice. But as you can imagine, this is now going to take a bit of time. I have considered, because the silage contract I'm doing at the moment, the, the um, silage bailing contract, is going to pay quite well. I was thinking about maybe hiring a worker. I'm cracking on with that, doing both at the same time, but in all honesty, it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking, look at that field there. And that's not also taken into effect. If we go into here, bear in mind the bit I've done here, I haven't touched that top pasture, I haven't touched that pasture. I haven't done that field or that field, but they do own, there's all of this, all that pasture can be done. Um, there's all of that here. I haven't even been over there and looked at all of that. That's massive. And then there's the golf course. The golf course I'm treating as a separate entity, the same as that one. I don't know if I can access that golf course. I don't know if there's a gateway into that. But I'm taking those as almost like a separate idea, a separate contract, that the golf course might contact them and say, Look, could you come and do the mowing for us? And you know, and the perk of the job is you do the mowing for the golf course, you get to keep the grass, you know. Um, but that would be something I would do later on. That's not going to be part of this silage harvest. That might be first cut maybe next next year as we get into spring, sort of as we hit March time, maybe into April. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, I had in the chat people were talking about and asking when I was mowing with the side mower about the different mowers they use and could I use this or should I use that? Like I say, I'm just I'm just kind of trying to do it using the equipment they've got. The contractors have bigger equipment and when I take on contracts, like map contracts, the equipment they provide is completely different. This is the stuff that Pemberton's farm have. I could throw in something and say that Pemberton's have been sent this on lease or this on trial. We could try out some other stuff, we could, I guess. But that's more down to Pemberton's themselves than it is to me. So at some point I'm going to have to go and collect my bales, which I had forgotten all about. And then I would imagine over the winter, Pemberton's, will, when they get their straw bales delivered, whether they'll be delivered or whether they need to be collected, we'll sort that out too. So as I said, it, it's going to bounce between me doing farming work for me, contract work for me, and then working on Pemberton's farm. As we move into December, we're going to be bringing the cattle in. I've said that as well. That's going to be happening. Um, that's going to be trickier because in real life, they open the gates and they herd the cattle in from the pastures, the open pastures, into the pens. Obviously, in game, we can't do that. So we're going to have to use the livestock trailer. The problem is when you're talking 50, 60 animals, and if the livestock trailer only holds the, or the one they've got, the size they've got only does like five or six, it's a lot of runs backwards and forwards. But I can do it. You know, We'll get it done. So what I'll do, I'll see you when this is complete. And um, what we'll do then is I'll probably get the mower and I'll mow the next field over, or at least start mowing the next field over. Like I said, this one's probably only going to be... <laughs> I'll say it now. This one's only going to be 20 minutes, half hour. It's not. I've probably talked for more than 20 minutes already. But probably half an hour or so long. Um, but you get the idea of what we're doing, or what I'm doing, I'm mowing, I'm tedding. The wind rolling stuff will come later. Okay, 11.08. Field is tedded, I've got the last tiny little bit here. Lift that. I will fold it to go through the gate, probably don't need to fold it to go through the gate. leave this actually I probably could have I probably could have cut right into that corner couldn't I if I back it up I might do that just got that there lights off so what I'll do then is start mowing this is going to take a while I'm just thinking how long it's going to take me how do I get into that I'm just these are areas and bits I haven't been to yet okay we got a gate there 
so we can go in to cut that one now these two are field fields as in you've got grass growing a crop type these are more like meadow fields pasture fields so whilst they have got grass and the grass will regrow it's not stuff you can add um, fertilizer to to get the better yield from so this one probably needs doing as well blimey okay I'm just really worried about one running out of time I, that's what I was going to explain when I did the stream as well I've set the time oh, did I did I start to say didn't I I've set the time to um, half speed because I originally set it to one day months and regretted it I, I should have done two day months um, so what I was thinking was if I just even if it's just for this day set it on half speed that in effect it makes it a two day month kind of it gives you double the amount of time on, on that month for so technically a two day month I don't know um, just very conscious of the fact time you know stuff's got to be done but I guess looking at it another way that's farming that's that's the way it is you know I watched I've said before a lot of um, YouTube farmers and um, it's funny you can watch and you kind of understand you get it you understand the weather plays a massive part and a huge role in what farmers do and um, the seasons do and everything you know all that stuff all the unforeseen things that farmers can't control and can have a massive impact on them and their families and you know, the business and everything and it's interesting that you you kind of like a lot of things in life I suppose you know things to be true you know that they are the way they are but at certain times something will happen that will bring it into sort of stark relief and and and, and you suddenly go oh blimey that's really bad you know it's bad you know it always has been but it's weird isn't it how your mind works I think like I say watching Clarkson's farm all the stuff that you know that over the series that he's been experiencing and problems he's been having and you know with rules and regulations and laws and, and government and councils and and weather and badgers and you know it's terrifying honestly it does make you wonder how farms get by and a lot of the US farm guys that I watch that have like the ones that have GPS systems and they'll run their GPS for plotting what they do on their fields and that kind of stuff and and then they were saying on Clarkson's farm spoiler alert um, Caleb had got a new tractor part way through it's weird it's kind of bounced between I assume not new as in got rid of his old one but just a new tractor and it had GPS in it and Clarkson said why what's the point he said how long do you think you're going to keep that in the tractor before someone steals it and Caleb said completely straight faced I don't know six months maybe how appalling is it that farmers are thought well not thought so little of. I know there was big there were a lot of spates of farm machinery being stolen tractors and, and all sorts of just people getting up in the morning to start their day and find they come down their telehandler has been stolen it's like there are some absolute scum out there I mean awful people why you know people who, who eat people who eat the produce that farmers produce yet their mentality is well they've got it I want it I'm taking it you know I can't imagine buying a GPS system knowing it's likely to be stolen from your farm at some point. What? Anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I, I have every intention of this only being, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25, maybe even half an hour long. Just, like I say, right from the word go, just to explain about the stream, what happened, what went wrong, why it happened, why it went wrong. And what I'm going to be doing just preparing it's nice countryside it's nice scenery it's I'm, I'm just enjoying it I'm thinking about also uh, based on Tom Pemberton's one of his more recent videos might have been the last one he did the little raw milk shack where it all started six years ago um, caught the fence I think me right in that did um, they've just had it an upgrade to it they've had some new vendor machines put in 
and the vending machines do milkshakes. It's 24 seven as well, you can go and get your raw milk there, but also rather than just having bottles and stuff now for your raw milk, you can get a cup and straws and you can um, you can have milkshakes. And they have like a syrup, syrup flavors, they're all different flavors and he says I'm gonna add some other ones in. And you can go and get a milkshake there. That's really cool. They had it all kind of new wall input inside and new um, like a AstroTurf kind of grass put in on the floor. And But I don't think here at the farm, I'm trying to think, maybe one of the Omatana. Or is it, no, what is it? The self. Oh man. I can't remember the name of the mod now. But it's got the little ones you can put the vending machines in. I might see if I can place one of those. We'll have a look and see if we can put one in. At some point. I'm, I'm running out of time. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but at some point. So, I will love you and leave you. Um, like I say, I hope you watch the stream. If you do like that kind of content, jump over and have a look. I would watch the first one. Um, watch the first one. The second one was literally five minutes and it just died on me. So, the first one. And if you, if you skip ahead... <laughs> If, unless you want to read the chat and watch the chat and everyone was very kind they were very nice about it there was no animosity or nastiness um, people being very helpful offering suggestions and ideas um, but if you jump ahead to about 14 minutes I think that's where we sort the mic problems out and we get cracking so that would be wonderful anyway I hope you enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.